Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about uh, customizing the color of your macOS folders. So as you can see, I have um, the test folder right here. And the purpose of this for my style of videos is to show that as of right now, there is no way to automate this process. And if there was, there it's a nice tool to have for any Mac power user. So um, what you have right now is the workaround that you have to do because changing the color of a folder is not, um, an official macOS feature, even in the version I have, which is macOS Monterey. Um, and what we're doing here in today's video is using a workaround. So I have this test folder. You can create any folder that you like. As you can see, um, it's empty. And right here, it's empty. Um, so what the first thing you would do is um, copy it. If you can uh, here hit the copy button and we're not going to paste it anywhere. So we're copied and then we're gonna oh, uh, go to preview and preview is right here. And then we're going to click open, but we're going to go to new from clipboard. And then you're going to get these. And let's see what you get. You actually get just a series of um, folders that are that are uh, blank and numbered. And what you have to do is you have to uh, find if you have the tools to mark them up. And I believe in Monterey, it's this one, show markup toolbar, here we go. And then is it this one here? Adjust size, nope. Border color. And is this one adjust color? Here we go. And then we're gonna choose um, to uh, adjust the levels here. And we're gonna go to uh, changing the uh, saturation. Then we're gonna go to maybe changing the temperature. And maybe change the tint. And here, I think we have a extremely a purple folder. The purple or pink, almost pink. Let's see if I can get it to be a little bit more pink. Here, this is, this seems to do it. Okay, now let's assume this is okay for our purposes. We're gonna click on it, and then we're gonna click Command A, and then Command C. Now we've clicked Command A and Command C. Command A is to select it all. Then Command C to copy. And then we're gonna go over here to our test folder and right click. And then hit Get Info. We're gonna move this out of the way. 
and then as we see here in the small folder icon we're going to click on it once and click command v oh, one more time try it again command v and here it is your folder now has a custom color and now we can close this out and let's see if i change the folder name to test 2 for example does it revert back to the default style test 2 Yes, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. So it gives, it maintains the color of the folder even if you changed the name. Although you did see that small glitch um, where it did go back to the default color temporarily. Now it's back to its pink um, customized self. And the whole point of me making this video is to reiterate that this process is a multi-step process that there is no way to automate. I even tried to create a um, Apple script for this process, but um, what I was using, I tried it with chat GBT actually because um, I didn't know where to get started as far as uh, changing the color of the body of the folder itself um, so I tried it with chat GBT and the results while it worked to an extent it wasn't what I wanted it didn't change the body of the folder instead it gave it a tag a color tag so you can uh, red blue or however many color tags options mac os has that's what you get but it does not change the body of the folder like you see here and the whole point of my video is to say that there is no way to automate this as of yet. And I'm hoping in a future video, I will figure out a way to automate this process. I'm hoping with either Apple Script or um, Keyboard Maestro to help me automate this process and make it uh, a simple one click and it changes color. I want to give the user the option of typing in a color and it change as well. Um, I know there is software that will do this for you, but um, this, this after all is a automation channel. So. With that, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember, uh, this is um, how to customize a folder color used in uh, macOS Monterey. And with that, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.